Hey everyone, thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. It's the second last day of my two weeks vacay at my off the grid cabin. So I thought, hey, what a great time to make a video. And what I wanna talk about today is I wanna talk, what are some of the reasons I quit drinking? What made me come to a conclusion that I had to do something about my life? The first example I wanna give you is relationships. I was never really close to anybody when it came to relationships in my drinking life. I started drinking when I was 13 years old and I was a loner. I was aloof, standoffish. I never really got involved with anybody when it came to relationships. And I mean with my mom, with my dad, with my sisters, my brothers. I was always standoffish and no one really knew me. They, you know, they, they called me a loner. Like I just show up and sort of disappear. And when it came to relationships with, with women, well, that was a whole different story. I, was, I, would, I would never commit. I would never get involved. I would use them for sex or whatever I needed at the time. But it would never be a committed relationship or a loving relationship. I felt I was not capable of doing it. And also, even when I attempted to have a proper relationship with my work, I would get too drunk or start a fight or my mom would ask me to go to dinner at her place. I'd show up late. You know, I always went for the booze. That was the biggest relationship I had was with alcohol. And I tried to have committed relationships with partners, but the alcohol always screwed it up. Another part of my life that was severely uh, impaired or destructive was I had uncontrollable anger. My head, I had huge, huge anger issues. I always say, really, anger was kind of sweetening it up. I had rage issues. I was always raging out. I had anger issues. I'd fly off the handle when I was in relationships with girlfriends. I would scare them. The police would be called, or I'd be at a bar fighting with people. But I had this anger, this uncontrollable anger at the time. So when towards the end of my drinking, it was out of hand. I thought I would end up in jail for hurting somebody with my anger. And I'm not, I'm a kind of ashamed to talk about that, but it's the God's truth. And that was one of the things that I said to myself, one day, Terry G, you're going to have to deal with this anger issue of yours. And it was out of control. And that was one of the reasons I didn't get involved with in relationships because of anger. Like I would go along and all of a sudden I'd freak out smashings in girlfriends' apartments, smashing guitars, crazy, crazy, crazy behavior that I was doing while drinking and when I wasn't drinking. Because just because you're not drinking, alcohol still affects your, your emotional, your mental health and your physical health. And that brings me to another thing that was really affected by my drinking. It was my physical health. Man, oh man, I had diarrhea often. I had heart palpitations often. The last year or two years of my drinking, I was having severe stomach pain. I was severely underweight. I always say I was about 150 to 155 pounds when I went into 12-step programs for real this time. You know, and I said to myself, I'm gonna do something about my life. I was severely underweight. Right now, as you see me right now, about 2'5", 2 2'10". 2 you know, I was 60, 70 pounds underweight. So a lot of health issues I was thinking of, I had. And I had legal issues. Like I say, I was violent. I would fight people. I was a thief. I'd break into people's cars. I was breaking into houses when I was intoxicated. Believe it or not, my life was out of control. So I had a lot of legal issues, public mischief, theft issues. I had assaults. Just, and the list went on. Another area of my life that really suffered was my work life. I couldn't hold a job for the life of me. I'd get paid, I'd go out that night before, you know, I work on a Saturday morning, I was in the restaurant industry, I'd go out, I'd drink, not show up for work, I'd get fired. Or I'd go to work and just get fed up with the job, get angry walk off the work. I was emotionally unstable and I was a basket case and I couldn't cope with life on life terms when I wasn't drinking or I didn't have a little bit of drugs in me. I found it very, very difficult. So there are a lot of reasons why I quit drinking. There's tons of them, the list could go on, but these reasons were the ones that stood out the most. Another reason I quit drinking was 
I felt like a loser. Here's me, 28 years old. I don't have a girlfriend. I'm not married. I'm not saying you have to be married or have a girlfriend, but all my friends did. They had good jobs. They are, some of them are buying small homes, townhomes. They had nice cars. They had a well-rounded life. Here's me, I can't even hold a job. Or, you know, I go, I'm going to court on charges. And these guys have moved away from me sort of thing in their lives. And I'm hanging around with a bunch of drunks. So when I look out from myself, I would think of myself as a loser and I'd feel jealous that these people were doing so well in their lives. And I would, I would believe that with all my soul, I would believe those kind of things. Another thing I'd have a bout of depression, bouts of sadness. You know, I'd walk home from the bar by myself, drunk and start crying because my life was so shitty. I knew unequivocally that my life was out of control. The signs were all there, but I still couldn't drink. I mean, I still couldn't stop drinking. Like I knew alcohol was my best friend. Alcohol was my job. Alcohol was my banker. Alcohol was my lover. Alcohol took everything away from me. It really, really did. And the main reason I quit drinking, it was very simplistic. It wasn't because of my shitty life or all the things that I did in my life when I was drinking or when I wasn't drinking. It's just that I got fed up with it. I got fed up with the, my way I was living. I looked around and I said, everywhere I go, every place I show up in, something negative is happening when I'm involved. And why well, I shouldn't say when I'm involved, but when alcohol is involved, always something related to alcohol. I got fed up. I started working on myself one day at a time. And you know something, things came about. Getting silver and coming to that point when you want to get silver, then you silver up. That day after you quit drinking, it takes a lot of courage. It really does. It takes a lot of determination because coming out of a drunken, stupid life like I had, man, oh man, all I can say is fasten your seatbelt. Fasten your seatbelt. I got really emotional. The anger came out. I was all crazy about my life. It was difficult, man. I used alcohol for everything in my life. Alcohol creaked, crept in, creaked in or seeped in to every nook and cranny of my life. And this video is only a brief, brief glimpse of how things were. But silvering up took a lot of effort. Man, oh man, did it ever take a lot of effort. Just by silvering up one day, you're winning. Life will get better. It got better for me. I have a job now for 15 years. My financial, my financial situation has regained. I have a small house. I have a cottage. Life is looking up a lot better when it comes to financial. People might say that doesn't matter. Well, it does. It's okay to have some money. Believe me, it's okay to have some money, have job security, and have, a, and have some good income. It, it, it works really well for me. Believe it or not, it's one of the rewards for being silver. My relationships with my brothers and my sisters has regained. It's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better. I'm in a loving and caring relationship with my partner. I don't feel like a loser. I feel okay. My self-esteem has come up. There's a lot of things that have changed in my life, but I had to make that initial step to stop drinking. I had to do that. And I had to come to my own conclusion why I should stop. Nobody could tell me to quit drinking. I had to say to myself, Terry, you're an alcoholic. It doesn't matter why you're an alcoholic or it doesn't matter why you're drinking or why your life is out of control. All I had to know is that my life was out of control and I needed to do something about it. And you know something? It worked. Here's me 27 years later out here in a canoe, canoeing around in a lake, no cop charges, no creditors after me. I have a wonderful partner waiting back at the cottage. I think she's actually making some dinner for me after this video. And I'm just going to sit and have a campfire and sleep peacefully tonight. That's what I'm going to do. So I hope this video helped you 
make a decision on to quit drinking. And these are some of the reasons why I quit drinking. And there's many of them. The list could go on and on and on. We all have our own story. But generally, we have one story, all of us, that alcohol is ruining our lives and it's making us do things and say things and whatever, the list goes on, that we would not normally do. We wouldn't normally do. I just wanna let you know that and I hope you realize that, that it's not your fault that you're an alcoholic, but soon you quit drinking, you need to take responsibility for your life, responsibility for your recovery and I guarantee it, your life will change one day at a time. You will have a fantastic life. You really will. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, leave a comment below. If you didn't, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. That's it for now. Oh yeah, by the way, my meeting here in Ottawa is opening up face to face after about what, five or six months on this Sunday. I can't, I'm looking forward to it. I tell you, Zoom meetings work well. And talking on the telephone works well, but face to face works better. Okay. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Stay safe, stay sober, and I'll see you next week. God bless. Terry G's checking out. The sun is going down and I'm out of here. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.